new setup guide for you today. This is a Sam Coupe. Uh, so for those of you who isn't sure what the Sam Coupe was, it was a 1989 micro, 8-bit micro that is, and it came from Swansea, obviously in Wales. So some say it was kind of like the next thing after ZX Spectrum, and you can see with some of the Sam Coupe games that, yeah, some of them's really ZX Spectrum. So what I've done is listen to you on my community post and a lot of you want some more microcomputer setup guides. So here we go. I have found for you Sim Coupe and it's a very good emulator and I'm gonna show you how to run this. But before I get into this, just make sure you hit notifications for me. As usual, I really appreciate it. So this is gonna be in my description, the link that is. And we got several different download options for Sim Coupe. The one I'm going to be using for this is the Windows Zip 64. So if you've got a 32-bit operating system, the one you're going to need is the Times 86. And it also will give you an installer. So if you want to install this to your hard drive, that's up to you. But if I download this one just here, this one is going to give us a portable version. And portable meaning that everything's going to be in a folder rather than being installed. So if we just drag this one out onto the desktop, and what I'm going to do with this is create a new folder. So right click on desktop, new and folder, and I'm going to just call this one Sim Coupe. If I drag my zipped folder in here, and once I'm in my new Sim Coupe folder, I'm going to just extract this one. So if I highlight it and right click, I use WinRAR, you might use something like WinZip or 7-Zip. I'm going to extract it here and there's a lot of contents inside of this one as we can see. So once that's extracted, we can now delete the zip. So let's open this up and this is going to be the simcoupe.exe and this one's going to open up the interface. And here you go, so pretty basic stuff, like I was saying a minute ago, very reminiscent of ZX Spectrum with those colours there. Okay, so to open the game, what I've done is created a folder on my desktop, as you can see here, this is just titled Sim Coupe. And I've put a couple more games in this one, so we've got a Rick Dangerous 2021 remake, which is really cool. And this is a .dsk, and if we look here, it says ZX Spectrum. Uh, the reason that is, is because Sim or Sam Coupe also runs ZX Spectrum games. And I've also got myself a cassette tape file, which is known as a .tzx. So very similar to ZX Spectrum emulation. Okay, I'm going to load up my Rick Dangerous game, which is a disk image. So if I just go to File and Open, and just locate where your game is located. So mine is obviously on my desktop in my Sim Coupe folder. Just double left click on the disk image, insert it into drive one. So I've already pre-configured my controller for this tutorial, but let me show you how to do this. I'm gonna give you all the information you're gonna to need to get you up and running with Sim Coupe. So to set up your controller, just go to tools, options, and from here, you need to go to joystick. And obviously plug in your controller. I've plugged in mine, and mine is Xbox 360 from Windows. So you need to go to options and then joystick. And obviously, if you've got a second player wanting to play, then you would plug in your second joypad, joystick controller, and uh, select whichever comes up. So as we can see, this is running fine. Now you might notice that the speed of this one is a little bit off, it's very fast. And there's a reason for that. We can speed up Sim Coupe, and this is done really to load up really slow loading times, especially on cassette-based games. So to do this, to speed up, we just go to System, and then there's Speed. And currently this one's on 200%. So if I want to run this one at a normal speed, it's 100%. And as we can see, Rick Dangerous, is now at a right speed that we would play it on. So a lot of you is probably going to be looking at this thinking it don't look very ZX Spectrum, almost Amiga or Atari ST. And that's a good reason uh, really talented coders have put this together, like I said, back in 2021. So we will want to play this in a full screen. All we're going to do is press on F8 and that's going to bring us into a full screen and press F8 and that'll take us back into the window mode. 
Something else you need to be aware of is that some games, particularly this one, needs a little bit more memory to make them run. So to increase memory or decrease memory for Sim Coupe, we just go to Tools, Options, and if I go to System, we can see Eternal RAM. So for this game, like I said, we're going to need 512K. If I try loading this game up in 256, if I try loading this game up in 256K, it won't boot. So just be sure if you're loading particular games and they don't boot, you need to select the relevant amount of internal RAM. And you've also got external RAM, but I won't go into that. But I think internal RAM is your main priority if a game fails to load. So let's close down this game and I highly recommend this one, it's very good and it's a very nice port of Rick Dangerous. So I'm going to just go to close Rick Dangerous and as we can see it now says ejected. And if I want to reset this Sim Coupe emulator back to the system, just go to system, reset and there we go, we're back. So like I said I've also got a tape image and to load this I'm going to go to tools tape browser and from here we can open up the folder and here is my game this is a .tzx file which is like I say a cassette tape file so what I'm gonna do with this one is double left click on it and it's gonna show us what's inside of that cassette image so we got lots of different contents in this cassette tape image and to load this I'm gonna just press on play and this little fast loading thing here, you might want to keep this one clicked on. This will speed up the process of loading it. And then we just go to close. And there we go. So just bear in mind that some of these cassette tape games on Sim Coupe, they do take some time. But just be patient and it should load for you. And I've also been reading around Sam Coupe. I'm not too familiar with it. They only sold around 12,000 units back in 1989 when it released. And so these are very, very rare if you can grab yourself an original Sam Coupe computer. But as I read it through the manual, I'm gonna leave a link in my description. You might wanna read things for yourself. Check this out what I've done. Type in border one, boom. And if I type in beep, we can make Sim Coupe beep like a real machine. <laughs> and of course it runs basic um, I'm sure there's a slight variation to fit with the times with um, its basic operating system so let's load up the game again I'm going to show you how to make games look a little bit better as I always do so let's open up Rig Dangerous again to show you some more fine tuning what Sim Coupe can achieve for you so what we're going to do is open up the game first Okay, so once we got the game running, which we have right now, we can fine tune it and we can make things look a little bit better for you if you're not into that pixelated look or you like the pixelated look. So if we go to view just here, first of all, we got TV aspect ratio. And if we put that back down to normal, it's gonna give us a better picture. It's a bit more compressed. If we go back to view, I've already got motion blur and smooth image on, but if I uncheck these, it will look a little bit more like an original Sam Coupe machine. Another settings this has got, to go down to the visible area, you can have a mess around with these options. So we've got full active, and we've also got a window zoom. And if you're into debugging things, then it's also got a debugger. So tools, debugger, and you can find codes for that particular game. And let's just say you've got a game which has got two discs maybe. To do this, you're just gonna load up your game as usual on disk, so file, open, and then obviously select your first disk. If it asks you for a second disk, then you simply just go back to file, and then you go to floppy two, open, and then you select your disk two of that particular game. So that's about it for the Sim Coupe Sam Coupe emulator. It's a really decent emulator and I highly recommend it if you're into 8-bit micro gaming. So like I said, this was done for my community who voted in second place next to console emulation. So um, also follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.